Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint snake men. These are from the uh, Dark Heavens Legends from Reaper Miniatures. Uh, very nice miniatures. I'm going to use the uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, Monster Manual today for reference. Um, so I've marked the page. It took me a while to find the miniature but uh, <clears throat> we seem to have found one that will do the job see I can't even say that his name is Yun D Abomination um, but this is roughly the paint colour scheme that uh, we'll go for today so you've got some nice turquoise and um, the miniatures look very similar as you can see oh, it's going to be a bit of fun as you can see I've already done the base with uh, the small chip-ins or gravel um, now it's time to do the priming and as always I'm going to be using the Master Series paints, uh, the brush on primer, uh, which from Reaper Miniatures. Um, again, turn your bottles upside down, give them a good shake, and you can start priming your mini. You've all seen me prime the minis, so we're going to skip this step because um, this is a repeat of the repeat, but uh, all you're doing is painting your miniature with the paint and um, you're ready to go to the next stage which I'll come back and show you in a minute now I've done the uh, undercoat um, the primer I'm going to uh, do a base coat of Naga Green from MSP Paints and I'm going to cover the whole of the miniature um, with this paint I'm using a uh, base coating brush by Army Painter and I'm just going to apply it to the whole miniature I'm doing the dark darkest colours first um, and then I will put a green wash over the green and then we can highlight the scales These are lovely miniatures. What I'll do is I will finish doing the base coat and I will come back and show you what I do with my green washes. Now you've got your green base coat, we can put on the ink wash. I'm using a, a green tone by Army Painter uh, from their Quick Shade range and it's a very simple case of putting some on your palette and getting your ink brush or your wash brush should I say and covering the miniature 
and the same as all washers it will go into all the recesses but instead of a black or a brown you get it in a nice green effect and it will help with the shading later on very simple to apply and straight away it brings out all the definition of the muscles of the snake man the center of the snake man here going up the belly um, I'll be painting in a different color um, because it's a lighter color I'll do that last um, which makes it a lot easier and again you can cover your mistakes but as you can see it's highlighting all the areas now giving a a shade and the next stage will be to highlight the greens on the snake man I will come back once I've done the other snake man and we'll go to the next stage now the ink is dried I'm going to use a uh, moldy skin uh, by Master Series Paints and I'm going to paint the chest piece and going down to the belly once I've painted the moldy, moldy skin effect I will then go over with a brown ink wash on the belly so what I'll do is I will finish off the scales I will come back and show you the next stage once you have applied all your moldy skin to the belly area and the chest um, you want to take some Agrax Surf Shade which is a brown shade wash and just apply it over the over the belly and the chest and it will instantly bring out all the definitions and the shade in like so Remember you can use a tissue to pick up any uh, excess that you don't want on your miniature or cotton bud but there we are the next stage will be to highlight and um, with dry brushing and some lighter tones now all the inks have dried I'm going to do some dry brushing I'm using um, skink blue for the for the highlights on the green flesh and that'll give a, a turquoise effect so with the scales 
you want to move from the bottom upwards like so I'm using a small dry brush from Army Painter the dry brush paint is from Games Workshop and this will highlight the miniature and bring out the definition of the muscles I will finish the dry brush in and then I'll show you the next stage the miniature is uh, almost complete now um, I just wanted to show you the last part of it, which is the varnishing um, but I'll go through what I've done I have done the eyes and the chest uh, with, with the chest I dry brushed with um, a lighter uh, skull colour a uh, dirty bone and then um, uh, slightly more with um, adding some white to the dirty bone and then dry brushed that on top um, I've added the uh, shield, I've given that a uh, wash with black ink wash then highlighted with silver I've added the little tongue and the little teeth um, and I've done the base of course um, all I need to do now is the um, varnishing now for snake skin um, I'm going to use satin varnish it's not as strong as gloss varnish but will give um, a really nice effect it will give a sheen uh, give it that sort of snake like look um, satin varnish is also very good for doing barbarian flesh um, it gives like a, a leathery sweaty appearance um, it's a very good varnish um, if you don't want it too glossy I will show you um, one of the miniatures being painted uh, because I don't want to scare you all off because a lot of people uh, think that this varnish um, and because it's white will ruin a miniature yes it goes on white and it does scare the living daylights out <laughs> at first because you think you've ruined your model but believe me all this white will disappear and it will become totally clear and you ju you'll just be left with a fantastic um, effect so just liberally put the uh, varnish all over your model because remember it's also protecting your model from for gaming as well um, and it's quite important if you game a lot there's nothing worse than having a beautiful miniature and after a couple of games of Dungeon Saga on the top of the head <laughs> the paint all peels off I can't stand that so this is all you need to do now and once this is all on let it all dry and it will go totally clear and protect your miniature Now the varnish has dried, you can see the effect on the skin, and that's all there is to it. I'm now ready for my photographs. So, till next time.